Yeah, this is definitely scary being so high up. I don't want to be on the jump, that's for sure. Wow. All I could think is, oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at how high I am. I'm the height of this tree, practically, up here. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, that's, it's so scary, that tree. I'm so scared of heights. Wow. I don't know if I'm, I have the bravery, bravery enough to, to fly the drone. I kind of do. Just as long as I, I'm not cool. Just as long as I uh, maybe sit down, maybe that'll help. just came down that hill and I was like thinking this is this a horse corral but then you get closer and you find out it's a mine with a spring uh, ever flowing spring into it and they'll uh, describe it here this is the sulfur cave okay the rising world of water most mysterious <laughs> And it's going to stay mysterious. But it's, it has an ever-flowing water source. You can, you can kind of see where it starts, I guess. Over here, there's a cave. And then, and then the spring. Which, I mean, there's nothing on top. There, 
they're not pumping water up. So this, ooh, starting to stink. So the spring goes back a ways. Very interesting. Never would have thought you'd have a spring that flows into a cave like this. That's unique. All right, so I took a little bit of a trail to get a little higher up. It starts, the springs naturally starts right here. Huh. And then it causes all that whiteness. Lots of bugs. Those flies are so attracted to the sulfur. I can't quite decide which which seems like a better city for for a ski village. Ketchum, Idaho or Steamboat Springs. Steamboat Springs seems a little larger and they have a lot more going on, I think. Just a little bit. Especially with the free bus. Ketchum, Ketchum really didn't even need a bus. It was smaller. Got a strength training center. And then what's this? Olympic Heritage. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh. Ah. Uh, that's pretty neat. You got more more stuff to read. I don't know why this is dangling here. A view from the top. Huh, not as overgrown. Huh. Oh. Alright. So you learn how it's done. Scoring. Wow, all right, go on this lot of detail there. Kind of weird to actually be standing in these this spots just to to see it on the ground like this. I've always seen it on TV. You got it. I got a better idea of now what it looks like. All right, so they they either I think they've finished building the HS45 or something because it sounds like it's this. The HS45 hill size 45 something. So oh Oh, I didn't even see that one. I didn't even see this one up there. Wow. Okay, so this looks like an old ski lift. <laughs> uh, that's out of, out of commission. And various tools and stuff to support it, I guess. What the heck? What? No. I'm still recording? It took me to a completely different screen as I was recording. Yeah, that, that tower looks pretty neat. But I did not see this one. I think I want to go back up there and get a closer look. My drone took off. I took off from that. Huh. Maybe I can peek in a window. All right. 
It looks like it's some kind of, oh man, what did I just step on? Some kind of a rebar. Okay. I don't know what was being recorded now because I just, just I just noticed it was stopped. Isn't that weird? There's nothing going on. They, they got it all open. So did I record this? No, I'm not sure. But I was just kind of pondering like, you know, this doesn't look like it's in use anymore. Paul Wilson since 1915 looks like they're retired now pretty much so that tower up there is probably out of commission as well and they're just using using all this required signs for Palma surface list they still got it still looks like it's kind of in use I'll go up there another day that's a climb I would just go straight up try to check out that tower and also the the jump looks like they got an event going on here <clears throat> I don't even know if I recorded looking in the windows I'm tempted to look in these windows but looks like oh there's people inside too there are a ski there is a ski lift up up above but it's, it's for something else yeah it's up here okay all right so this is another ski lift sounds like they got some kind of rodeo going on this ski lift looks in better operation or at least oh man that looks so scary these people are so fearless so like they got these tiny chairs and they're like they're like 50 feet off the ground or something. Man, that's scary. Or is this still in operation? Man, it looks really rickety. Diesel fuel only. So this thing's powered by diesel. So they flip the seats up when they're not in use. Hit the stop. Man, that stadium is packed look at how look at how packed that is that is packed load here oh, I would be so scared to get on that let alone ski where's the chair so it flips down they just they just flip them up for for storage so rickety do you trust that is this thing still in use oh my god man that's scary stuff to me it's hard to say what they what they've abandoned if they have and then you got the fin core Hmm. Whoops. Lift closed. Oh. Check for loose clothing. Ask for instruction. I need seat height 20 plus 2. Probably for the skis. The howler says sit absolutely still. <laughs> yeah. Shifting, okay. The howler. Oh, and then, then you got a line uh, with that's marked by rope. So what? I could just walk onto the the rodeo here. Oh my God! Look at all those horses. Oh my God. You can just walk right up to them. <laughs> I'm just snooping around. Oh yeah, I saw this. Where is this held? The bumper cars on ice?
All right, so there's more rules here. <laughs> Look at this though. Um, one of them is reduce P on corners. <laughs> try, not, try not to pee so much on those corners. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna look around these horse. I'm gonna look at this. All groom trails may be used for snowshoers. Okay. Why is it? I don't know. The trail, I think the trail might go behind the horses. Hey guys. I wanted to check out this toboggan thing though. If the trail goes down this way. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. To stop the toboggans, they use tires for toboggan sledding. Who knows how high it goes up? I need to get back to the top. That's pretty neat though. Please take your sled to the lift. Just follow the boardwalk. It looks so rickety, but I guess it's in order. Maybe this isn't the, the number one ski slope area.